Hey guys, the FM Gaffer here, and welcome back to my Football Manager 2016 save here with Juventus. Now, we're playing AC Milan today. You saw the last game against Lazio, so there's no games to go through. Let's just go through the team and get straight into it. So, we've changed everyone above Kolarov. And there's one little tactical tweak that I want to try out. I won't go with it if it doesn't work. or, But yeah, I've just moved the poacher from there to there. As there's like a right winger but no left winger, I think that might help. I think that's what I planned to do originally and then just forgot about it. But yeah, um, that's how I'm going to go. But yeah, we've changed everyone from Kolarov above and a few of the defenders too. So let's start with where we've kept Ruli. We've kept Ruli, we've kept Marquinhos, we've kept Damian. There are, I think, the only three. So Ruli in goal, Damian at the right back, Marquinhos, Rugani and Zuma as the three centre-backs. We've got Kolarov on the left, Kovacic and Niklas Stark in the middle of midfield. Zivkovic on the right with Gadetti and Alcazar up front. Let's get into the game. And um, yeah, I'm worried that because we played such a full strength game, uh, full strength team against Lazio, that we may not do as well here. They're playing a very weird 4-4-2 because they've got the likes of Meneth up front. And uh, yeah, let's just go back to that lineups. It's a very odd 4-4-2. I mean, Suso's only an attacking midfielder as far as I know. Yeah, he doesn't particularly play that great. Uh, he's all right there, but yeah, I think they've got quite a few people at position. So yeah, that's that might not be good. Is Meth a good striker? Yeah, he's actually quite good there. I thought he might be, but yeah, I wasn't sure. So let's get into the game and uh, just see how it goes. Hopefully the changes won't be that bad. But we've got Alcazar and Gidetti up front. I mean, yes, they are not... I'd say my best striker is Dybala. So they're second and third choices probably. With Barbosa fourth and uh, Sorry and Bolo fifth. <laughs> but they're still fucking great strikers. Particularly Gidetti. No offence, Paco. Um... <laughs> But, yeah, so hopefully we can do well. And Kovacic is a quality midfielder, so is Stark. Zivkovic is quality, and our defence is quality. So we've got quality. <laughs> we should be able to beat AC Milan. So, yeah, let's go do that. After beating Lazio, keep the 100% record, get it 5 out of 5. That would be tremendous. But Bertolacci here, backer towards Meneth. Meneth is in, really, with a good save. I'm worried about the 4-4-2. I mean, we, we don't really play a lot of 4-4-2s in Italy. I don't know whether that's normal, whether Italy usually has 4-4-2s or not. But yeah, 4-4-2s have not really occurred as far as I've seen uh, during this, during being in Syria. So yeah, it's, I'm not I'm not really sure is what I am. Augustin, Augustinson to Bonaventura, to Bertolacci, to Menes, to Baka. Good block, Menes. Good block again. Bertolacci now, Suso. Aya, Bertolacci, Christ is they sign Christopher Ayer permanently. It's Kovacic finds Alcazar. He's got a man on his right. Nicholas Stark gets it to Zivkovic. Zivkovic, great ball to Gadetti. And Gadetti's shot goes out for a corner. I don't know whether it's a shot or not. Rugani now. Oh, God, Rugani's back on centre-back. Uh, <laughs> it's because we saw Witzel. I really do need to sort that out, though. As uh, Augustinson picks up a yellow card here. Ludwig Augustin. Is he... Um, I swear he plays for Gothenburg, or that's the English way you say it. I think it's like, our uh, um, second yellow card pronounces this brilliantly. Uteberg or something like that. Kadeti Alcazar Howard's Kim Sun Yu saved that. But yeah, I want to, I want to find him now. Oh, there he is. I can't click on him there. Um, is it that guy? Yes, he played for Gothenburg. There you go. Gothenburg, go, go Ute, Uteberg or something like that. I don't know. He's right. He can speak Swedish. He's amazing. Um, uh, Backer, Sousa now, Bertolacci, Backer, Meneth, Backer, offside. I mean, for some reason I was upset about that. I was like, oh no, you're offside, but they're offside, so I shouldn't be, shouldn't be uh, upset. Sami, Bertolacci, Bonaventura, Suso with a good opportunity over the bar though. AC Milan had um, the same same amount of shots as us so far, but we've had two on target, so that's slightly better. Although I've noticed a lot more highlights have been for AC Milan. It's Kovacic, that's a great tackle from Suso. Came all the way to Damian, who's put in a ball, and Paco Alcacer has given us a 1-0 lead. We lead in this derby. It is sort of a derby, I think. I think they're quite a fierce rival with Juventus and AC Milan. And, um, yeah, we've taken the lead. Fantastic from Paco. Kovacic was amazingly tackled by Suso, but it was at their downfall because it came straight to Damian, and uh, he produced, pr produced a lovely ball. And Damian, uh, sorry, Alcacer had an easy finish. Could it be another straight away here? It's Matteo Kovacic finds Andrea Zivkovic. Kolarov. Kovacic. Stark. Plays into Alexander Kolarov. Headed on. And Andrea Zivkovic 
gives us a two nearly two goals in three or four minutes depending on how you look at it but yeah fantastic Stark with a good ball out for Kolarov Kolarov's ball in Gadetti headed it on at the front post and Zivkovic nodded it in at the back 2-0 and yeah it's gone from 0-0 to 2-0 very quickly and we have gone from being very tight with AC Milan to absolutely blowing them out of the water I'm absolutely ecstatic with um, our end of first half performance but yeah let's carry on into the second half as Gadetti comes forward and uh, loses it Romagnoli to Bonaventura to Aya uh, Suso I just want to quickly check if they've bought Christopher Aya because if they have they're like my heroes and I should have bought him he's only worth actually 6.5 million yeah they've, they've, they've signed him damn it I should have they only got him for a million I thought he's worth more of that more than that at the start of the game Real Madrid always buy him in my in my experience, but yeah, he's only just come into the AC Milan first team, which surprised me. Whereas the first time he's played against us, and I particularly noticed him. But yeah, AC Milan have done very well to um, pick him up for only a million. I swear he's worth more than that at the start of the game. Maybe it's changed with an update or something like that. But I swear I tried to buy him with um, a Tottenham save that I did because Tottenham my favourite team. I would usually do a save with them, but just not for YouTube. I think he I think they wanted like fifteen million for him. Start is where he starts his career with, or not? No, actually, it might not be where he starts his career with, but it's where he starts the, in the game. As a uh, yeah, Kolarov now, Gudetti plays it to Zivkovic. Zivkovic, can you roll it inside? No, nope. Zivkovic. Zivkovic to Gudetti, uh, and Gudetti fires it wide at the target, and uh, doesn't really test really. Um, doesn't really trouble him. Trochev has now picked up a yellow card for AC Milan. Ch Ricardo Cow has been injured. I almost signed him, by the way, <laughs> in the summer when I was looking for a ball winning midfielder. He was decent, but he he wasn't natural there. But he had the good stats for it, and uh, I agreed like a twenty three point five million pound fee, and I think that was just too much in the end. And uh, eventually, I found that nine million guy, uh, Polish guy from Arsenal, who is a decent backup. But Alcazar, Kolarov, Alcazar, how has he missed that? Alcazar, really? Oh God, the time has completely gone. I've been waffling about. Um, sorry, waffling on about certain things but yeah I'm gonna bring on Oz, Oz Tenali at central mid central central midfield and we're gonna bring Zuma off for no we're not we're gonna keep Zuma on we're gonna bring Kolarov off for Alexandra we're gonna bring Stark off for Richedley Berserk so three changes there and um, yeah it looks like we're gonna win this match I didn't realize how late it was Oz Tenali has only been on the pitch a few minutes but he's been uh, already yellow carded Trochev oh, doesn't get a yellow card Berserk Gadetti, this is this could be an actual highlight as well. Kinyos plays it to Bazaar, to Levin Ostunali, to Gadetti, it's blocked and uh, Albanos has kept it on here. They've got forty five seconds. Can they mount an amazing comeback? Backer, Bertolacci, Suso. You'd think even if they did score here, um they wouldn't get back into the game. But yeah, good clearance. Augustinson now. Does a one two with Suso. Zuma gets the header away. Albanos. Meneth. And there you go. Full time. We've beaten Lazio 4-0, we've beaten Milan 2-0, and we look absolutely unstoppable in the league. Fantastic performances, we've pl played a completely changed eleven. still got the win. Playing Sassuolo, who are actually in second, but I'm not going to live com that. Next live com is going to be against FC Barcelona, so it's in about five games' time. So yeah, there we go. FC Barcelona on Wednesday, the 18th of October, 2017. So I'll see you guys back for that, we'll go through these four games then. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you haven't, what's wrong with you? It's been amazing. And um, uh, if you have, smash that like button. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I've been the FM Gaffer, and I'll see you guys next time.